All right, guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Lee 7 8 ounce 12 gauge slug. Got some of these casted up this morning and they're looking good. It's a little key drive slug. Got about 50 of them made here and we're gonna load them up into some birdshot rounds and what uh, people commonly refer to as hobo slugs. So stay tuned. Okay, so today's video, I have two different kinds of birdshot loads. I have some Federal and I have some Winchester. These are seven and a half shot. And if you cut them open and dump the shot out, it weighs 1.1 ounces or one and an eighth on the scale. And we are replacing it with a seven eighths ounce slug. And these actually weigh about 0 0.82, 0 0.83 range. Uh, this is some pretty soft lead. It's a range scrap that I purchased on eBay and uh it was probably from a hollow point you know a law enforcement range or something but it's pretty soft lead and uh casted pretty good i casted 10 this morning i had a little bit of trouble getting the uh slug to fall out of the mold and getting on the discord and talking to some of the guys they suggested that i polish up that uh, center insert of it and i got my dremel out and it worked much better so i went back out and i casted i believe i have 49 of them here and uh, what we're gonna do is load some of these up. So let me okay, show you what I'm First thing doing. we're gonna do is take this Winchester round and we're gonna take a little uh, razor blade knife and uh, we're gonna cut this crimp off. We're just gonna cut it right along that roll crimp and uh, be very careful doing this. And we want to save the crimp part because we're gonna reuse it. Uh, Uncle Jim did a video on this a week or so ago and uh, it was perfect timing because I had this in mind to do. And uh, he showed how we can use this uh, crimp as a, like a shot card and we'll put it back on and we'll roll crimp it. So we just got to remove this crimp. And what I like to do is cut it about three quarters or a little more of the way off. And before we spill any shot and go ahead and dump it in our little container here. And we're gonna save this shot for another day. We can melt it down and make some stuff. I'd also like to get possibly a buckshot mold at some point and we can cast up some buckshot and make some hobo rounds with buckshot. So we've got the crimp removed and we will just pull this off here. And uh, this Winchester round is a one piece wad and uh, I like it a lot better right now than the federal wads. Uh, I, I got these already made. I'll show you a picture of what that wad looks like. I don't think it's getting real stable. I've shot uh, just a few of these earlier and I uh, didn't have the best accuracy, but they were just my first shots. So this will probably be a long-term project series just to try to get them to shoot good. Just something I want to tinker with. So uh, these wads are going to have powder on them a little bit. So we're going to try to get that powder kind of settled back down the bottom so we don't lose much. And what we're going to do is take our slug and we're going to insert in this wad. And what I'm going to do is trim these wings off just about halfway down. So I've got a pair of scissors here and about halfway down, we're going to snip them off. And this is going to kind of act as a sabo for the slug. The slug diameter is smaller than the bore. So it kind of needs something to ride down and it's going to sit just like that. So all we're going to do is set this back in here like so and uh, tuck it down and this crimp that we removed we're going to insert it right back here and then we're going to take it to our little roll crimper and crimp it back in place so let me move the camera and we'll okay, go over so this the is the roll crimper we're going to be using it's a russian made one i found it on amazon i believe it was like 39 dollars. i had a bunch of uh, credit card points so i've got less than five dollars in this the reviews seem to be pretty decent on it and i remember there was one review it said it was made in russia and probably should have been left there and I thought, well, I don't know. So I got it. It's uh, it's cheaper quality. It's got the little uh, C-clamp kind of adjustment. I just mounted it in my vise because I like to have the uh, the shell oriented, orientated up. So uh, it just seems to crimp a little better. Uh, quality is not the greatest on this crimper. However, it works. So like I said, I only got about $5 in it. Uh, if you can find a uh, older antique one on eBay or something, probably be a little better option, but just kind of keep your eyes open. I kind of needed it and wanted it now, so I just bought a new one. So we're going to go ahead and get this round crimped here. So let me set the camera down and crimp it. Okay, so I got the old crimp that we cut off stuck down in it. We're going to insert it right here. We're going to push a little upward pressure, get it centered, and just give it some cranks until it bottoms out. And it don't take very much. And we got it crimped. So I'm gonna load up, what do I need? Two more of these and I'll have 10 rounds and we'll go out to the range and give them a try. Okay, we are out on the range. I have my Mossberg 500 with the slug barrel on it. 
And first thing we're gonna do is shoot two through the chronograph. So I'm gonna take one of the Federals and one of the Winchesters and see what kind of velocities we're getting. So I'm gonna aim at the 50 yard target. I don't know how accurate these are. If the uh, slug, so slug sometimes sticks to the wad and it's not real accurate, but we'll see. So first will be the Winchester. Seems kind of low to me. So that was a Winchester. So here's a Federal. Got an air on that one. Let's try it again. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take some three shot groups at 20 yards. Uh, I got the 16 inch piece of steel painted and uh, we'll just see if we can shoot a little group at 20 yards. So first up will be the Winchester. And I'm just going to aim center of the target. split right between them. So I'm going to paint the target real quick and we'll try the federal. Hall. All right up next will be three rounds of our federal halls at 20 yards. Those three were much more accurate. They stacked all three on top of each other. So to finish it out, I have two rounds of the Winchester and I think I'll just shoot those at 50. I'll just kind of freehand it over the chronograph and see if we can get another reading on these. Velocity come 1144, so that's more realistic. And we didn't get a reading there, but we did hit the target. So today's video is just a quick look. Uh, it's something I want to get into is making these slugs and seeing how accurate we can get them. Uh, there's a few tricks I may want to try here shortly, and uh, I'll just keep you updated. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.